What is money? Go. So I think what money is is something that doesn't have like that has value, but it doesn't have value where you can like eat it or you can use it as a weapon or a tool. I think what it means is that it's it has value because everybody else thinks it has value and they trust in it. So when something truly becomes money, it's when other people around you and you have so much trust in it that you're able to exchange it for something that does have value. It, it feels like it should be really straightforward, doesn't it? Because everybody's using it. So it should be clear that, that money, well, of course, money is money. Isla, you're hilarious. <laughs> So, so it serves as a medium of exchange between people for all these different goods and services. Um, but it also is meant to store as a, as a storehold of wealth. Mm. But the first monies were not like today's monies that are called fiat currencies. Mm. You heard this? F-I-A-T, fiat. So fiat currencies are... Monies that have no intrinsic value, like a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Intrinsic, that's the one. That's the word. And that are fundamentally backed, not just by belief, but by a requirement by a government that you make payment in taxes using mm -hmm. that money. So the first monies had value. Uh, in the United States, Benjamin Franklin was actually the one of the forefathers and the thought leaders on money at the time. And it helped that he owned a printing press. So it was kind of in his, uh, it was kind of in his um, best interest that the colony started adopting fiat monies. And so um, they created a requirement. Um, they, they basically had to do this because the peoples in the pre uh, pre declaration of independence, we're talking like the early 1700s, they used up all of their copper and gold and silver coins to buy stuff from Great Britain, mostly. Um, and so they didn't have any of this, like, you know, it, Von, did you, did you know that people used to use gold and silver coins? Yeah. Right? It's still in, like, video games, right? You'll see this. The use of gold coins, right? To, like, fly around, you know, like... <laughs> It seems like half the video games that one will play that's like a real time game, there's some form of, of old coin, right? It's really just like a relic from, this, from history. Well, these things had intrinsic value because you could use those, uh, fundamentally you could use those coins um, to do things like make jewelry, for example, right? And it also looked pretty, like dollars don't really look pretty. They're just pieces of paper. Right? <laughs> So the, uh, um, the colonies adopted this money and it was really, really useful because it was actually quite challenging for people to buy stuff um, when there wasn't a lot of actual coins going around. And so you had to basically like remember people were doing a lot of favors for each other. Like you would go to neighbors and be like, hey, can I borrow you know, a cup of sugar? or something, or can I, you know, if you help me raise my barn, then you can borrow my horse, right? And so you had a lot of these kinds of like negotiation, kind of okay. returning favors for each other. Yeah, go Isla, go. Um, but like, like you were saying, they were doing all these favors and things, but what if that person, like, let's say, this is an example in Sapiens, um, but let's say you, make the best and most crisp apples um like in your village right. and you go but you need but with all your hard work on your apples you need new shoes so you go over to the person that makes shoes and then you're like hey i can exchange some apples for these pair of shoes um but what if that person um either doesn't need apples or last time he he uh someone asked for shoes 
They gave him bad apples, so he doesn't know how much to ask for or whether or not he should accept it. And the way you solve this problem is by making, uh, one way you can solve this problem is by making like a three-way exchange um, where like he, the apple person would give it to someone who does need apples, who would give what, what the shoemaker needs uh, to the shoemaker, and then the shoemaker would give the shoes to the other person. But what if that person, it can just get more and more complicated depending on what they need. So let's bring Vaughn into this. Yeah. Pretend that Vaughn makes shoes. Vaughn, you make shoes. You know what color? Apple. Blue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to make apples? Okay, so Vaughn grows apples. Okay. And then Isla makes shoes. And then what do I do? How about I you grow can... chickens? Yeah. And let's say that I want some apples. I want some apples. But Vaughn, you may not want chickens. I don't want chickens. I just don't. See, he doesn't want chickens. He wants shoes. So then he's like, well, what if I gave you some, what if I gave, Isla actually wants some chickens. So what if I gave Isla some chickens, she gave you some shoes, and then you give me some apples. No chicken. That would work, right? There's like a triangulation of, of we're all doing a service for each other. Right? Like, yeah. But well, that's what if, really complicated. You have to know, and then we're all gonna do this at what, once. Or are we all gonna like meet in the town square and do this? But what if, what if I want more chickens than you can give me? Well, there you go. There's another issue. And what if you don't like my particular kinds of chickens because I don't? I feed my chickens like uh, cheese. Uh, what? Because you feed your chickens cheese. I I feed my chickens cheese. And they're like really weird grass-fed chickens. And, and you're like, I just want grass-fed chickens. These chickens, they're all like weird looking. Or something. <laughs> you only fed chickens cheese. <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> so, there, so, the, so anyway, money money basically serves as a Fixes means all of, these of simplifying these problems because um, if you think about the number of different <laughs> prices that you would need to try to do that sort of barter system, that's what, the, that's, what that's called, then it gets really complicated because even with just a few products, you need prices between every single product, right? So how many prices are there in an economy with two goods? There's really yeah. one price. There's the price of like, let's say here, Isla, you don't need to do that. Um, the uh, let's say that there's one price between between shoes and cheese-fed chickens. All right, that's one price. There's an exchange rate between those two things. Okay, there's one price, right? So let's say it's like it's like one shoe is equal to two two cheese-fed chickens. Right? There's an exchange rate. Let's call it an exchange rate. Can you say exchange rate? Exchange rate. All right. Now, what happens if there's three goods? Now, how many prices are there? So there's cheese-fed chickens, apples, and shoes. That's three. There's three prices. There are three. Because there's the exchange rate of cheese-fed chickens to apples, cheese-fed chickens to shoes, and then shoes to apples, all three exchange rates, right? Each one of those is a price. Right? Now, if you have four products, how many prices are there? It's getting complicated. Which one? These fed chickens to, wait, what is the other good? I don't know. We should just call the goods A, B, C, and D. Here, I'm actually going to show you. I'm actually going to show you what it is. One second. I'm going to show you how you can plot this out. So Over here. Go to uh, 
how about it's fake eyelashes? <laughs> sure, fake eyelashes. Sounds good. So. So Vaughn wants some fake eyelashes. <laughs> no, just kidding. Here we go. One second. Um, uh, find, find. Okay, can you guys see this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say we have goods A, B, C, and D. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. So those are the goods. All right. Now, let's list out the prices. The prices are going to be um, A, B is a price, right? Because you got the exchange rate from A to B. Then you have AC is another one. AD is another one, right? And then you also have, well, BA is the same as, um, BA is the same as AB. So the next one after that would be BC. Yep, there you go. BC. And BD. BD, okay. And then CD. CD. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So prices with four goods. Okay. Well, what are the goods? Well, these are the goods. Well, I mean, A, you know, you can call this like. Apple. Peanuts. No, A for apple. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> and S for. S for shoes. So we're going to have to stick with this because it's funny. P A N A N A S. No, wait, that's, that's going to be chicken. Chicken, chicken. 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 No, cheese for chickens. And then D is going to have to be donuts. Okay, donuts. And then we're going to have E. What's E? Elephants. <laughs> yeah, <I can> <laughs> Who would want elephants? It's part of the economy. People are exchanging bananas for elephants. Okay. All that right. makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to have... Uh, Wait, but uh, we don't have... We need E. Change rates. So, for... Wait, rates. but we need to add the prices because elephant. Uh, goods. Yeah. Oh, right. Column left here. So this is going to be interesting here. I want to. I want to. I want to do this from the beginning. So if we have four goods, insert one column left. So exchange rates given number of goods. You know what I mean by a good? I mean apples, bananas, chicken. Don't yeah, there are things that there are things that people buy. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have one, then there's zero. There's zero exchange rate, right? Because if you only have one good, there is no price. Because a price is, is in relation to something else. So when you have two, the price is AB, right? If you have three, then there's AB, AC, and BC. Right? Hi, sorry I'm late. No, I it's got fine. caught up in other stuff. No, it's totally cool. We're we're learning about exchange rates and, and money. Um and we're also recording it. Um, but I'm not gonna share anybody's faces on anything. I'm just gonna save the discussion because I think it's interesting. Um okay. So let's do five now. Can you guys do five is gonna be tough. Because um, you realize the one. number of prices is going to go up very, very fast. We In this economy, Cyrus, we have five goods. We have apples, bananas, chickens, donuts, and elephants. And the chickens are cheese-fed chickens. Yeah, they're cheese-fed chickens. All right? They're cheese-fed and free-range. But they range over cheese. It's, it's a different world. All right? 
In this world, elephants are like the primary means of transport. That's why elephants are, are being exchanged for cheese fed chickens. Okay, so back to our economy. Who's ready to find out how many prices there are in this economy with once elephants are introduced? Here we go. I am. I'm ready to, I'm ready to see how much an elephant cash first, maybe first, bucket for someone in this world. What's the first price? A B. A B. Apples to bananas. A B C's already. A, B. Apples to chickens. A D A E. A D apples so to, apple to banana. Apples to elephants. B C, I think. B C. Yep. B D. B D. Yep. B E. B E. Yep. And then C D. C D. Yep. C E. C E. Yep. Keep going. There's and more prizes. E, e C, A, no E. So D C would not be it because C uh, uh D C is the same as uh, as C D. Yeah. It's the it's the exchange rate of chickens to donuts. Right. <laughs> it's how many chickens. How many cheese fed chickens? I know. Would it. one need to pay to get a donut? And I would imagine a lot because who wants to eat a cheese-fed chicken? Not me. It's not. As long as it doesn't taste like cheese. But it's going to. It's a cheese-fed chicken. That doesn't mean it's going to taste like cheese. That I don't actually know. Like chickens don't taste that's like. That's a pepper. really that's an interesting question, but that's a question for another day because actually we're talking about money. Okay. <laughs> now. Let's move on to the next. We're not done yet. This is this is gonna get. There's more. Uh, what about normal tasty chickens? Here we gotta go to D. We're not done with all the prices. I feel like there should be normal tasty chickens. Oh okay. right, D. 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 Okay. Um. Donuts. How much and donuts would you need to get on elephant? Yep, that's the one. Who said that? I did. D Very good, Cyrus. Yeah, coming in. Where's, where's late, to class, late to class, but participating. D -E. Oh, <laughs> yeah. D-E. D-E. That's right. Okay. So there's actually a formula that one can use to do this. Let me look it up. So it's like, um, I want to make sure I get it right. So formula to calculate... <laughs> Number of prices and barter system. Number of prices in a barter system versus money economy. Ooh. Oh, wow. 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 That's beautiful. Oh, isn't this pretty? Yeah. Okay, so look at this. Number of prices in a barter economy. I'm just going to take a picture of this so we can just use it. All right. Because here it is. Prices equals N parenthesis N minus one parenthesis divided by two. Let's see if that's true, shall we? What does that mean? I'm about yeah, to... what does that even mean? I will show you. I will show you. I will show you children how to apply mathematics to learn about cheese fed chickens. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the most hilarious song I've ever it's heard anyone sing. Like the, most hilarious, the most hilarious song is the song that I was singing to Vaughn and Isla the other day at the at the Smithsonian. Right. Um, that at, one was the most hilarious. Uh, that cheese fed chicken probably got a lot of gas. Yeah. Oh yeah. All it eats is chickens. It's burning all over the place. Red chickens pass a lot of gas. <laughs> That's a funny song. We could sing so that. Song. Would make a great funny song. All right, so here we go. We have. This is actually quite interesting. So here's the number. This this number over here. This is n. Okay, guys. When they say n, they just mean a number. All right. Can you guys see this? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. I can see so, it here, better. Here, I can do even better. Watch this. Let me make a column over here. And we can do a uh, N. All right. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I thought they already had it there. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to make it really easy. So if N is one, let's go ahead and apply the formula. So the formula, um, let me go ahead and move this up here too. Row above, row above, okay. I'm gonna move this up here and we're gonna have this formula, which is equal to N parenthesis N minus one, oops. Oops, minus one up, divided by two. Abana. Abana is here. Oh, N minus one. We can't do it. It's not defined. It's not defined, Abana. The formula doesn't work if you only have one good because there's no exchange rate. Yeah. Right? No. It doesn't work. No. So uh, this one. Oh. The computer. This should be. Boo! Oh. Everyone see everything? E5. Unknown function E5. Um, hang on one second. I'm not sure why this is doing it. Okay, let's try this again. Equals E5, parenthesis, <laughs> five minus one, divided by two. All right, I don't understand why this isn't that. My, uh, my computer's having trouble. What? Bad computer. Yeah, bad, bad yeah, computer. bad computer. Bad computer. All right, well, we can just do it ourselves. Equals. Um, let's do it ourselves. So who knows how to multiply? I think Cyrus does. Okay, I so know. we have, okay, so the formula here says N let me just write okay, it out. Everything we're selling. Let me let me just write this out for you. N parenthesis. Oh, yeah. N minus one divided by two. There. All right. Let me zoom in on that. Do you guys understand what this formula means? Uh, absolutely not. No. Yes. I don't know what N is. So N is yeah, the number of goods. There. N is the number of goods. So, so in this case, five. In this, well, it's five over here, but here, this here is the number of goods when there's only one. So let's write this out. So this is the same as saying one parenthesis one minus one and parenthesis divided by two. Okay. Right? Okay. So let's break. Do you guys know what these parentheses mean? So five minus one is- No, 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 it's right here. This is one good. Yeah. This is one okay. good. Uh, 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 uh. So what is this equal to? Uh, no. uh, uh, uh. You know what that's equal to? Here, I'll show you another thing. This is the same as saying one. And then what's one minus one? Who knows what one minus one is? Zero. One minus one is zero. Zero, very good. One minus one is zero. So I'm simplifying. You guys see that I'm just simplifying this? Divided by two. You see that this is the same thing? Which is still zero. It's still zero. You're right. Who said it's that this a is negative? Me. I did. Yep. It's going to be zero. Why? Here, what comes next? I'm going to simplify it even more. What's no one? Matter what, no matter what, the answer is zero because zero times anything is zero. Yep. So one times zero is so the zero. answer is zero. So 
So the answer is zero. You see that? The formula worked. The formula worked. You guys see that? If you have one good, yeah. how many exchange rates are there? Zero. Yeah. So, all right. So we got, I'm glad we got a mathematician here, Cyrus. He can help us do these. All right. Who wants to do the He's next? He's not a mathematician. Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus. Okay. All excited. All right. Let's do the next one. Equals. So let's go ahead and do this. It's funny because I, I, I was going to use the formula, but it's actually better we're doing it together. So let's use that same formula where n is the number of goods. So Isla, you see this, right? The n. Yeah. Uh, n minus one. So tell me what to write. So are we doing the with two, two goods? Yep. Okay. Then that would be two, two. minus one is so one. Two parentheses. One. No. Look at the formula. Two parentheses two. Two parentheses two. Very good. Minus one. Minus one. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Divided by two. Divided by two. Very good. Okay, now let's simplify. What do you, there's an order of operations. Have you ever heard the term order of operations? Yeah. So I order did. of operations for our, for our daily class, do we, do we, uh, do we say hello first or do we turn on the Zoom call first? Turn on the Zoom call. You turn on the Zoom call. Otherwise, if you say hello and there's no Zoom call, then no one will listen, right? There's an order of operations. Well, there is for mathematics, too. And the first thing is you do what's inside the parentheses. So what's inside the parentheses? One is the answer. Two minus two is one. Okay, so two parentheses, two minus one equals one parentheses. Divided yeah. by two. Okay, very two. good. Now, Cyrus, yeah. let someone else take the next step. You're doing great, but let's let's let uh somebody else try to catch up here to you because I, I can tell that you're already all over this. Very good. One divided by two. Wait, no. So so the next thing you want to do is is look at um look at well essentially in order here. What's the first thing that that, that you want to do? You're going to do the multiplication where you multiply two times one. So two you times realize, one. Do you, realize that, do you realize that this can also be written as this? Here, I'll show you. Two times one divided by two. You realize that that's the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So what is that then? Tell me what that is. Let's two simplify that even more. Two okay. times one is, Why is, the chat? is what? Huh? What? Go ahead, Isla. Well, two, one. Two, two times one is two. Two. Okay, so it's two divided by two, which is, what's that? One. One. Very good. And that's correct. That's what we got. We got one price. Yeah. So the formula well. is working. It's still working. It's yeah. working. Let's try the formula over here. Let's, okay, so Vaughn. Let's try to see if we can't get you in on this one. What do you say, Vaughn? Come on up here. You can do this. Sit real close. Any more hard questions I can answer? You can do this, Vaughn. This is actually, the, the math's not terribly difficult as long as I can walk you through the formula. Okay. So if you have three prices, then what should the formula look like? You realize the formula is up here. It's the N parenthesis N minus one, where N is the number of prices. Yeah, Three. Three. Parentheses. Three. Parentheses. Three. Three. One. Minus one. Minus one. Parentheses. Right? Parentheses. Divided by? Divided by two. By two. Okay. Now, how can we simplify that even more? I'm going to make this. I want to make this a different color so it's not distracting us. One second. All right, so now let's simplify that. Remember what, what Cyrus said is the first thing you want to do is what's inside the parentheses, right? So three three. minus one yeah. by two. Okay, so then it's three parentheses. Three minus one is two parentheses divided by two. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to do the three times two. What's three times two? Six, six. 
Nope, you're right, six. So then it's six divided by two, which is what? What's six divided by two? Well. Nope, so let's say you had six cookies and Isla said, can I have some? And you're like, okay. You gave her some on, in Zoom somehow. You Fine, just I, but you can have some with you. Right. I'd like to share it, right? And so you give her how many cookies? If you started with six, but you're dividing into two piles, how many does she get? Three. Three. So the answer is three. Six divided by two is three, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? That's how many prices? Three. Apples to bananas, apples to chickens. Bananas to chickens. We fed chickens. So the formula works. We found a formula. You know why it's useful to have a formula? Why? Because if we had a hundred goods, you would not want to go through this exercise. But it might be fun. Imagine a hundred goods. Well, it's going to be A to B. Uh, a to C. You don't want to do that. You don't want to. You don't want to go through all of the different combinations. Yeah, like a long-term project where you slowly work away. You can do it really easy with a hundred uh, with the equation. Exactly. So you just do. You can just use a hundred equation. You can use mathematics. To solve problems. Yes. Sorry. I get really excited about applied math because that's the way everything should be is applied. Notice how we're using math to actually solve a problem. Yeah. And Let's go through this and then I'm going to tell you. And then I'm going to Okay, let's money, go. Money, money, Cyrus, Cyrus, you're up to bat. Or Abhinav, feel free to jump in too. But we are going to solve the mathematical problem of mm -hmm. 100 goods. And we're not going to do it by counting. That's what we were doing before. We were literally counting the price. Can be done. If we were doing that, I already know the answer. The answer is 4,950. That's the answer. It's written right here. No, it answers 100. No. For I just did the math. It's 100. Uh, in a, for 100 goods, the answer is 4,950 different combinations of prices across all different exchanges. That's a lot. That's a lot. If we were doing that, it would take us all day. And we'd probably make a mistake. And we don't have that kind of time. We don't. So we use math. Let's do it. Or we could do a long term project and just don't. Yeah, but it would be a long term waste of time project. <laughs> yeah, it would be five different days and we wouldn't even have to present. All right. So let's do this. Cyrus, I, want, I, I know what you're, you're, you're our math whiz here. Let's use the formula and solve the problem. Great. Okay, we can do that. Go. 100. 100. Divided by. Oh, use the formula. Isla? Yeah, so 100 and then 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1. And then divided by 2. Parentheses. Parentheses divided by, divided two. by 2. Okay, Cyrus, what do we do first? We're going to do the 100 divided by 1. Nope. Minus 1, which is 900. 100 minus 1. Which is what? Uh -huh. Which is 909. Nope. No, 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 99. Sorry. There we go. There we go. 99. Okay. Now, Vaughn, what is, oh, this is going to be interesting. What's 100 times 99? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't oh, even do my. That. I don't know if Vaughn can do this. Oh, it's easy. It's, it's actually know. quite easy. Go I ahead, Island. What is it? I'm thinking. 9,900. Yep. 9,000. I was, I was thinking. 9,900. I was going to say 9,900. It's easy. 900. It's just, it, it, 1, it's just 100 
it's just 99 one hundredths. It's not whenever you're whenever you're time whenever you're multiplying. Um, multiplying something by 10, you just add the zero to it. And whenever you're multiplying something by 100, you add two zeros. Yep. Whenever a thousand, three zeros. Yep. And so divided now, by two. Now we got to divide that by two. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, it's going to be tough, but not really. Think about uh, let me let me put it this way. I know how to do division, though. Okay, but there's like little tricks you can do this in your head, okay? <laughs> so let me let me let me go ahead and give you one. So let's add the zeros back later, but pretend for a second that it's just ninety nine divided by two. I know what that is. What's ninety nine divided by two? It's almost a hundred, but it's ninety nine. What would be a hundred divided by two? Two hundred. No, divided by two. 50. It will be 50. Okay. So if, if, if 100 divided by 2 is 50, then 99 divided by 2 would, would that be, be 48? No. 49? A little bit more. Can't be 50. No. It's 40, 49.5. 49.5. Okay, so now add two zeros onto that. Oh, 49.5, would that be 495? 4, 4,000. 4,000. 4,900. 4,950. 50. And that's exactly that's what we already have down here. Remember that? Oh. Look at this. 4,950. We already had it because that's what we got in our screenshot. See, we already stole it off the website. Right? So we're checking our work here. See? So we know we're right. 4,950. That is a lot of prices. It's a lot of prices. You do not want to try to keep track of 4,000. Well, so there's not that many letters. And 50 prices. There's not that many letters in the English alphabet. Can you imagine living in a world where you had to remember 4,950 prices? Chickens no. to bananas. Elephants to crocodiles. <laughs> to cars, to horses, to <laughs> <books>. <laughs> Electronics. To um, um. And and not even your pictures were there's more than 100 there's way more than 100 items in the world yeah that you, that you need do you know how many goods there are in a single grocery store on average in the united states i like five thousand how many there's well uh, there's more than five thousand it's like it's typically like somewhere between like 10 and twenty thousand different goods in one like large grocery store how about the mall? Yo, that's probably like almost a billion. That's yeah, a lot. I think you're probably right. It's probably around a billion different goods. And even there, it's like, because then there's different qualities. You got like, you got cheese fed chickens, grass fed chickens. Cheese fed chickens? Oh, very common. Blueberry fed chickens. Oh, yeah. And then there's all these different that are all things. blue. All these different kinds of milk. Like yeah. the best sume makes like 20 different kinds of milk. Almond milk. Cashew milk. Soy. Oat milk. Milk. Oat milk. Uh, Whoa, coffee. that's impressive. Coffee milk. No. That's so impressive. I had to put it in the chat just to show how impressive that was. Yeah, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Okay, so, I did. So, in the chat. So, did you put it in the chat? I did. Question: How do we solve? I did not. You did how not put solve that. the problem. Whoa. You did not. There's so many. Don't you? I'm using the equation to so, simplify it. Well, no, no, no. This the equation. Somebody put all the milks. All right. So let's focus. Focus on the teacher, children. 
Okay. All right. We're going to wrap this up here shortly. I know it's, it's, you're getting tired, but this, this is important. I'm, I'm bringing this one home. I'm bringing this one home. We cannot hurt our brains if we try to track so many prices. How do we solve this problem? By using the equation. Oh, the margin of wonders. That just tells you how many exchange rates that are, those are. That, all that did was tell you how bad the problem is. Oh. That didn't solve the Money. Problem. Money. Money. Money is how you solve the problem. As soon so as you have money, then you switch from needing to do every price pair to everything just being paired to money. With one thing. So what's the price of a cheese-fed chicken? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yeah. You make a cheese-fed chicken eight dollars. What's the price of Sume's cashew milk? No. $20,000. $20,000. No, 10. No, 10. Do 10. $10. What's the price of an elephant? One, $100. $100. Yeah, so the point is that you have an exchange rate to dollars instead of exchange rates between every conceivable product yeah. and service. And those prices, by the way, change over time. So if you thought it was just 4,950 for a hundred goods, you're wrong. Because tomorrow they're all gonna be different. What, ha what happens if there's a drought and all of a sudden the cows don't make as much cheese and so now it's harder to raise chickens on cheese. And so the price, what's gonna happen to the price of cheese fed chickens? Uh, it goes up. Uh, I don't know. It goes up in relation to every product in the economy oh. see and you better believe that has ramifications for the prices of cows right and so it's like all these things are connected so money was actually like a really cool powerful innovation because it allowed people to collaborate and exchange more easily so that they can make better pineapple and brains and eyeballs. So, um, Isla, we are going to make a project and we're going to do it right now in 10 minutes. We're going to do it really, really fast. What is the project? We're going to write up this. And making chicken. The other kids. Uh, making giant brains. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, let's make a project because writing is so much fun. Writing's fun. That's why I do it every day. I love I write every day. Okay. All right. So we're going to call this one Cheese Fed. You know why? Because Cheese Fed is a hilarious title. And it'll draw people in because if they think they're about to learn some math, if we say math is fun, then nobody's going to read that project. They're going to be like, really? Really? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, who's going to read? So who's going to read that? Calling this, we're totally calling this project Cheese Fed Chickens. <laughs> um, and I'm going to share this with you, Isla. I'm going to share this with you. Um, and send it to me. Oh, okay, all right, sounds good. Now, now be careful not to delete anything, okay, Vaughn? Okay. Try not to uh, make sure that you're. Hey, Vaughn, what is your um? What's your uh? What's Mr. Cody, I think it was. Mr. Climby. Yeah, Mr. Climby. Nice. That's my name. Your mom too. And yeah. Okay. And Abhinav. Abhinav, what's your email? Um, let me just send you on chat. No, no, chat. tell me, I have it. Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, Binal. Uh, yeah, that Maggie one. 20. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cheese fed chickens. Uh, share anyway. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show access. Yep. Them, so, but you guys are seeing this, so you guys can, um, you guys can be sharing what we're going to call this cheese fed now we're going to have to have a subtitle i think the subtitle for this project is going to be 
um, math problems with prices and exchange rates. Okay. And we're going to need a picture of a chicken. And then cheese. And then cheese. Yeah. What do you think we're going to be able to find one? Because that would be hilarious. Chicken, cheese. Cheese fed. Oh, wow. That looks delicious. No, no cheese fed cheese. I think we probably just want chickens. What, you could have a pet chicken? I think we should just have a, a giant chicken. And no, chicken and cheese. And, and then do a plus sign. Here, and Isla, can you, hop in, can you hop into the Google Doc and you can just start sharing a little bit of background about how the problem, the problem is we have an economy that started with just one good. And that one good was a cheese-fed chicken and cheese. Yeah, no, wait, do a, do a chicken. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. No, wait, do a large, do a large, do, do a large photo of a chicken and then a plus, and then a plus sign and then, and then cheese. All right, so I'm going to go look up cheese now. Cheese. Because I know you're going to find cheese. <laughs> Which which uh, which cheese should I use? You should use the what is pizza cheese? Which which picture of cheese should I pizza use? Pizza cheese. I want to see what is that? See pizza cheese. How about, how about this one? Oh uh, yeah. That works, right? Europe's tasty cheese. Cheese fed chicken. Yeah, cheese fried chicken. Where's the plus sign? Who was the first one who said cheese fed chicken? I think I, I think I did. That was hilarious. That was that was funny. That was great. Cheese fed chicken. Wasn't me, but I wasn't here. That yeah, was that was like in the very beginning. That was the inspiration for the whole project. Was the cheese? Yeah, cheese fed chicken. I cheese. think that I think that this is a perfectly reasonable. Cheese fed chicken. For our cheese fed chicken economy. This is, the, this is an economy that's fundamentally based on the buying, selling, and growing of cheese fed chickens. What, you grow cheese fed chickens? And this is, and it, but it's fundamental. Yeah, you do not grow. grow them on vines, do you? Okay, so. Or do you? Um, what's the what's the subtitle? If they did, the word would be upside down. Math said, problems. Let's call it math problems with prices. No, he, he a, said uh, chicken wait, with math. No, it's it's a subtitle because otherwise people aren't going to have any clue what it is that we're talking about. No, he said chicken with math. <laughs> no. Fed chickens. No, I didn't do already it. said no. cheese fed chickens. Yeah. With math. No. Right. You don't have cheese fed chickens in the title and then have cheese fed chickens in the subtitle. Yeah, you don't need to say it twice. This is good. It's okay. We've got, this is a, it's a working title. It's a working title. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Isla? Let's start by doing, can you do an introduction? Okay. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to go into, actually, you know what might be good? Can you just explain the math prop, the math formula? Okay. Introduction. Bring in the math formula yeah. from that, from that, um, uh, I can actually bring it in. I'll bring an image from that screenshot. Do I do it in the intro or? I, I just brought in the picture so you can see it. Um, and I'll, I'll write the intro. Can you just explain the equation? Okay. All right. We begin with an 
the economy that has but one good. The cheese fed chicken. The cheese fed chicken. <laughs> Um, that sounds like the name of some villain. The cheese that chicken. One good, our economy expanded to include more goods. Secondly, was cheese. I think that has to be the second good because that's what you feed the chickens. Oh, they should order, there should also be cheese. Right, exactly. So now we have two goods. No, I think... It should be a chicken made out of cheese. Oh, a cheese fed chicken. Or a yellow chicken made out of cheese. No, I guess it makes sense. No, I think we should do a cheese fed chicken, not a cheese chicken. I think the cow needs to. Be I, I do, you know, a cheese that's being fed by a chicken. I think we need a cow because that's where cheese comes from. Right? A cow being Which eaten by a chicken. To produce the cheese. What's the hard get? Oh, right. From there, we also need Jesus. grass or hay to feed the cow. Oh, yeah, hay to feed the cow. Need we hay. need a chicken. Oh, yeah, we also need chickens. Cow. And we need we lots of cheese. But wait, we already got the cheese. Because the second one was cheese. We just need chickens. Yeah, we need chickens and lots we and lots have... of cows. We need chickens and cows. Already we have four goods for the cheese. And <laughs> Wait, what about cheese red cows? <laughs> uh, I think we have four goods. And this posed, poses a problem. What is the price of a cheese-fed chicken? Eight dollars, doll. As well, no, we don't have money yet. Right. As well as cheese to feed them. The cheese-fed chicken. Cows. And feed cows and hay. This is great. Okay, so let us say the best apple. Okay, so so here um, you're talking about apples, but let me go ahead and say here, Isla, you can hop up here with me and follow along with this. I can write really fast, but I want you to make sure that I'm getting this correct. So I think what we want to do is say um, how many prices are in our economy when we had but one good there were no prices because a price is the cost in relation to something else, right? Mm -hmm. I think that we want to have a way of, of illustrating that we're doing one price at a time. So this would be like zero. Right? When we introduced a second good, cheese, we had one price, the price of chickens to cheese, right? And then when we added cows, we had three prices. Right? And Recording then is ended. We have chickens. Chickens. Chickens to cheese. 
And cheese to chickens. Cheese to cows. No cows to cheese. And chickens to cows. Yeah. Right? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Hey. No, but there, there's, there's chickens to cheese, right? And so you might have like one chicken is worth like a block of cheese. And then you might have like one chicken or one cheese be worth like half a cow, right? And then you might have one chicken be worth half a cow because chickens and cheese are worth the same, mm -hmm. right? As we added our goods, the number of prices exploded with 100 goods we discovered that the total number of prices was 4950 using a, That's a lot. formula we found on the internet checked ourselves Right? That yeah. formula is, and then I think from there we can do this right here. We can say that, ooh, insert, I think you can actually insert mathematical formulas. An equation, we can do equations. Uh, prices equals N parenthesis, n minus 1, parenthesis, divided by 2, right? Hi, I'm back. Yay. Oh, You're back. Oh, now the cheese fed chicken back yet? Yes. And all the cheese fed chicken stuff. I don't see any cheese fed chicken. All I see is a cheese fed, a cheese yeah, fed very computer. Very good, Isla. Very good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, computer. Oh my. That sounds delicious and gross. I grab this barter formula. It's gross. It's not delicious. Yeah. Or I could say it's delicious with both. Cheese fed chicken. Cheese fed chicken. Cheese fed chicken. Formula we found on the internet. So I'm going to stick this. Oh, yeah. I'm sticking this um, equation. Insert link. I'm gonna. Do you guys see that I'm, at, I'm I'm keeping track of where I got that formula so people can follow along and check it themselves. I'm also gonna make another Canva so that you guys can see the prices better. Cheese fed chicken. 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 Cheese fed chicken makes me happy. No, no, no. How about we have the cheese fed chicken in the one next to the circle? Or in the one next to that one? All right, one second. Detach. I'm just trying to make it look nice. All right. Yeah, make it look nice. I think it would be nice in the first one. The very first one, but the one next to the first one. Okay. So Isla, you're uh, go ahead and go ahead and try to wrap up like that last part and like put a little conclusion on. I'm just gonna make this um Little cheese, little chicken. I need a cow. You need yeah. a cow. Cow. Oh, sweet. No, no, do, do that cow. Do that cow. The one right below it. No, below that. You want this one? And the one right above that. that oh, yeah, that one. Fine. Yeah, that one's good. This one works. Yeah. This works, right? Yeah. Mm. And we can stick it in this circle. So now we have three goods. No, put them all in circles and put lines. Yeah, we need yeah. to show the relations. Yeah, and then have them like all grouped to get. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, we should do that. Oh, I'm totally doing it. Elementary. Yeah, make them all in circles. Well, we just like all in the same line. circle, but then there's like lines separating them. Yeah, well, we need to show the relation because you need a price for every single one of these. Every single one of these has a has a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So then there's cows to cheese fed chickens. And then there's cheese fed chickens to cheese. 
and it, yeah. I think we are also going to need to, oh wow. You but, and make sure they're on the circle or it doesn't look as good. What? If they're all, they look better if they're all in a circle, I think. It's, yeah, you're probably right. If you guys want to go in and like make another one, that's cool. But I think for now, like we just want to get this done and get it up so you guys can share it tomorrow because that would be sweet. Um, so sweet like key sweet. Free goods. Free price. Sweet. All right, now watch this. We're totally adding hay. Do no, you need to? We have to add hay. You know, add, add the ones like in the circles, kind of. We're adding hay. You don't need to add in circles, but you can do that like later. Like you can do that. Like, We're adding hay. You have to. I feel have like to the hay. Hay. You know why we have to add hay? Because we need hay because check this out. So when you have four, how many prices when we had four? Wait, we had five. As soon as we, we got four, we had six prices, right? Mm -hmm. And it gets really complicated. And we want to show your classmates how complicated it gets. So here, we got the cheese-fed chicken. And now we need we need to add the other thing in white right, right over there where it is. We need to add that one in too. Yep. We've got the hay. This is so complicated. It's so complicated. It's so complicated, not complicated. It's so complicated. I call it complicated. It's so complicated. All right. We got the. We got. The now everything else needs to link in that too, not just the cow. We got the whole cow. In the picture, got the whole cow. All right, there you go. Now you guys can actually visualize the prices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Or we could even put the pictures in the shape we made there. That would be cool. Like if we were to put them in the same shape, but then there's lines blocking them. Look at, isn't this cool? You guys can see it. You guys did the, you guys did the, um, the actual, should we change the color so it's easier for people to see how these are changing? Yeah. All right. Change the color to, no, you look like a yellow. No, no, change the color in the middle. We need, like, all, we need all the colors. Purple. There's so many a prices. Oh yeah. You have nice pink. The different price. No, you have to use yellow on one. You have to use yellow on one. You totally are using you yellow. You have to use turquoise on one or it doesn't look good. Turquoise makes everything look perfect. We got six colors. For each price, we got six, six. colors, right? In our hands, we got six colors. In our for each price, we got six colors for mm -hmm. each price. Let's do five. We got five. Why did you do five? What's the fifth? What's the fifth good? Okay. What's the fifth good? We're going to have a lot of colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 prices. Wait, donuts. Donuts. We need donuts. Wait, well, what, what connects? We need the people that raise the cows and chickens. Where, we make the bees. We, get, we need food. We need food. Tractors. We need tractors. Oh, yeah, we need tractors. We need tractors. <laughs> Like I'm on a farm. Why did I forget tractors? Tractors for our economy. We need tractors. Because you got to make the hay. Oops. <laughs> you can't smell tractors. I don't know how. No, that one. No, no I don't like that one. All right. I want the, guy, the one with the guy waving off of the tractor. Oh, God. Whoops. I lost my tractor. Okay. <laughs> I lost my tractor. I lost my tractor. Okay. How about we put everything into a circle? It looks better in a circle. I like it. Yeah, you can do that later. We can do it later. later. But we, we just need to like get this thing out there. But like, okay, so how are we gonna fit all these prices? And then we need another color. We're gonna need a lot more colors. Uh. We're going to need, I think we could have like a, a neon green, maybe. And neon green? Like green. green. Musk green? What? 
Elon Musk green. Lime Musk green. Very, 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 very bright green. I think we should use Elon Musk green, which is a type of green. Seriously? Yeah, uh, seriously, is that real green? Is there, is there an Elon Musk green? Somebody said Elon Musk green. I just thought that was I did. I did. Is right. that a real thing? I have no idea. All right, so we need to make like a pentagram, kind of like this is like a star, basically. Mm. Right? What do you want? A star. I, no sun pass for me in my mouth. All right. So we have five goods now. Fine. Right? We need six goods. No, if we go to, it's going to get crazy. This is as far as we're going to go. It's going to, it's going to go, it's going to get absolutely crazy if we go any further than this. And then we have to do fuel and food. Yeah, no, you can keep going, you can keep going forever, but it's just going to get crazy. We need to have like a, no, I don't like that color. We should do like a purple or a blue or we need to do an orange for that color. That color needs to be an orange. No, it doesn't. You just need to it have be like we're gonna have to use all the colors. We should do it orange. We don't need to do it orange. We don't even like the color orange. What what colors have we not used yet? Orange. Orange, blue, neat no turquoise, dark blue. Use purple. What no, you, you dark you use dark blue. We have a dark blue, yeah. We haven't used purple. Uh, purple. Light green. Purple. We ha you haven't done bright blue. I think we're good. Is that t is that ten prices? Can somebody count the colors? Yeah, I'll count the colors. I'll count the colors. Five, six, seven, That's nine. We need one more color. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, there's ten. <laughs> All right, that's as far as we're gonna go. Goodness sakes. <laughs> That was a lot. Not do it more. Oh, basically, the max is two more. We got that, and then we got this, and then Isla. Does that look good? Uh huh. Really? Um, I think we should actually keep the colors consistent. So the cow to the cheese is light blue. Cow to the cheese is light blue. Yeah. And then the uh, cow to the chicken is pink. I just randomly was picking colors. And then the cheese to the chicken is red. Where's the chicken is red? Right. This is so great. Make sure it's like that all the time. This is one of the coolest projects ever, and it was totally. Now we need to paste that in there. Very good. I, I, I like that. This is great. Okay, so don't then, we need to add that we, in? How many prices are in our economy? So, oh, we need one more. We need one where we just have the chicken. Just a poor little chicken all by itself. No chicken and cheese. That's too sad. Oh, yeah, that's true. If we need the chicken and the cheese, we can have one price. That looks fun. Right? That's the first one. So, if we that's have two good. Two prices. No, that's one price. One price. It's chickens to cheese. Yeah. Hi, bye, bye, chicken and cheese. Hello, chicken and cheese. Do you know what would be funny? What? If that was a if that was a bacon fed chicken. A, a chicken fed by bacon. You can make the next project about this and it can be about a new economy with bacon fed chicken. That would be hilarious. Or you can that? add a No, no, bacon fed cats. Bacon oh yeah, that's a good one. Bacon fed cats. Bacon fed cats. Bacon fed cats. I know that that's totally good. So like like there's there's a bunch of funny characters of like cats and introduce a second one. They can fed cats. They can fed cats. We're gonna they can, introduce they can fed cats. They can fed cats. I, yeah. 
I can totally make bacon fed cats because that one sounds amazing. I could totally see someone having a bacon fed cat. Is it, I love bacon! <laughs> and I just like cats. I just like cats. Have bacon. Have some bacon eat cheese for breakfast. It's it surprising. Guys, this yes, is going to be yes. so cool. Look at this. Look at how this is just going to flow. You got three goods. And then oh. I need to add another little bit about this. Okay, so that's Most Friday hour is over. I'm at pretty minutes hour. Over. Oh, sorry, I'm, we're just, it's, but it's, it's interesting though. Over. Over, over, over. So, well, now we got. Over. Um, it's over, it's over. Eat. No more over. So then what, um, cows eat hay. I like the way that the goods came from each other in a logical way. Cows. It's not like crackers. Hay. So we. It's not like chickens come from tractors because that doesn't make sense. But then, but then, but yeah, then, chicken don't chicken eat cheese, so that doesn't make sense either. That brings. But, but the cheese fed chickens do eat. Number of goods four. But the cows don't eat cheese; they make the cheese. That's right. That's. This is a semi-logical way. It is a semi-logical way. That's why I think this is so cool because you guys are not only learning about. Math, you're also learning about economics. You're also learning about commodities. We're learning about how chickens never eat cheese. Yes, they do. And this economy. <laughs> we learn um, how. Wait, I'm the chicken. He's like, wait, what? By what? Let's <laughs> put I'm the chicken. No, wait, I'm the cheese. I'm just like, how's it going, everyone? I'm just some cheese. Please, chicken, please is... don't eat Tractors wrong. Okay, we added tractors as well. We do adding more picture to our beautiful economy. Okay, and that's as far as we go. And Hello. And I wrote about the equation. Oh, sweet. We have. Now the, now also, the, we don't need I to do any foods because they can eat because the people that are working could eat the cheese. Number of prices. But then there'll be no cheese for the chicken, so uh, well, they can eat some of the cheese and some of it goes to the chicken. Yeah. With just five goods, we now have ten prices. What if we had one hundred? Do. I'm not going to do that. 100 gets we discovered that there was a total of this. We have this equation. And if we had 100 gets the service, it would look like this. The next step is to simplify. Um, by subtracting 1 from 100. Inside the Parenthesis. Did I spell that right? Mm hmm. Okay. The next step is to multiply 100 times 99. Then, um, which gives us 9,900. Then we divide by two, two? to arrive at 4,950. So that means that if we have 100 goods, we would have to keep track of 4,950 prizes. Money solves this problem because um, money. Okay, we need a superhero. We need a superhero to save our brains to save yeah, so that they don't rot. Enter. That's exactly what happened. Super money. What happened? Okay, who wants to make a picture of super of a superhero that's called money? I do. 
I do. I do. Superhero. No. I do. Superhero money. Superhero money. Oh, no. Hey, there's a superhero. There's a superhero with a dollar sign on him. <laughs> no. We don't. No, we name? Should, no, oh, we have this man. No, man. we have this man. He's the one that looks like a dollar bill that's made out of dollar bill. How about that guy? No. Oh, I found one. Oh, really? I, I found a good one. Show us your screen. We need a superhero for that can represent money. Yeah. Super you should, wait, you should, we should make a villain. Super oh, they're trying to steal money. the money. So here's one. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I totally yeah. want that guy. Yeah. Dollar no, no, or the one next to that green guy, or that oh, one. Oh, The one that's made out of the S. Oh, that oh, guy. That like, oh, no, no like the coin man. Like, no, but I like the one that I look picked, and the reason why I like that one is because it's shape. It looks like a dollar, and that's people recognize that. <laughs> what about this? Uh. I like that. Or this. Oh man. All right, let's take a vote. There, there's three on the table. We got the one with the with the coin. We got the one with the dollar, and then we've got the other one with the giant S on it. That's you were told. Hey, Vaughn, uh, which one do you like? You're the one who, who came up with the uh, chicken fed cheese fed chickens. I like the I like the coin one. That one. Coin right? one. But it's got it's got a background thing on it that makes yeah it it's got a word thing that's yeah, we not... can't do that one. What about this other one that was the dollar bill with the sneakers? That's my that one favorite. also has a word for it. Uh, no, you can just take a screenshot of it though. Isla, go ahead and take a screenshot of it. I already did. All right, just drop it into the Google Doc and. Okay. I. Uh, if, this, if, if our project goes viral, we'll need to like switch out these pictures with something else. Can I, um, here, let, me, let me share my screen. I'll, I'll, I'll go in there and do it. We, the whole, um, bill. we should totally have a villain that's, that's trying to steal the money. We got the whole economy in one article. We have the whole. We we need a villain in the. the no, we need a, no, we, we need a bank robber villain. villain? Yeah, we need a bank robber villain. In it, we need a bank Money. robber villain. Oh. We need a bank robber villain. Oh. We need a bank robber villain. Oh. Villain. Oh. What's the point of the two people? There's no villain. Oh. The money to make the economy fall. But then Mr. Super Money can produce all the money. Whoever has can't steal enough money. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we should totally make a villain. We need a super money we need a villain. Super villain. I think the villain is the barter system. No, we need an actual villain. Hey, maybe we should make some to look like the barter system, but we hey, need a villain, yeah. even if it's just the barter system. The, there needs to be a villain version of the barter system with legs and yeah, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go, I like that idea. I'm gonna go bring this into our Canva because we're totally gonna make another picture. Captain Barter, no, Captain Barter. Barter. Captain Barter. Captain Barter. We're going to. Add another picture. We're gonna add another picture. We're gonna add another picture. We're gonna add, 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 add another picture. We're gonna add a picture of our superhero. But we ne now we need a picture of our villain. Yeah. We need like a villain. All right. Well, we can do a villain later, but right now, I think what we really need is we need to try to just get all these people, all these different goods connected to our superhero. I think our superhero maybe should have everything always connected to the superhero. Like the superhero is like shooting out the lines kind of thing. thing like that's his power is to be able to make the line kind of thing. He makes yeah. lines? Like, yeah. And, and have it on the, on the phone, on a phone. Our that superhero. Like, 
Yeah. No, no, we Before should have him. Before that he makes live. Uh, no, no, we should have his picture yes. on his first letter of, we should have it be on a T for D, no, D for dollar. Happy dollar. I screwed up my, here, I'm going to need to take another picture. One second. Got the whole world in his hand. She got the whole world in his hand. She got the whole. Wait, 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 wait. Can we can we change the words around just a little bit so it's about like prices somehow? He got the whole world. In his hand, she got the whole prices. In his hand, she we got the whole whole prices. In his hand, we got the whole whole prices. In his uh, hand, all the prices. He all the prices. He's got all the prices. In his hand, all the prices. That's what we should do. We should we should make we should make him look like he's holding all his hands to like shoot out it. The coin now he looks like he's just holding the in his hands. He's got that's gonna be too hard. in his hands. That's gonna be too hard. He's got the cheese fed chicken press in his hands. He's got the cheese fed chicken price in his hands. He's got he got you and me. In, in his, his hands, hand, he's got the whole world. Classes. In his hands, he's got the upload button. In his <laughs> hands, he's got up the dollar bills. In his pocket, he got the dollar bill. In his pocket, he got but the he's dollar, dollar bill. He is a dollar. In his pocket. We don't know. We don't have his own pocket. I think that these can he be. He has his own pocket. In his pocket, he has his own pocket. Pocket, in his own pocket, right? I think we can do this now, and these can all be like black lines, because and, and like it looks like he's shooting them out, magic power. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's shooting them out, doesn't it? Yeah. We should have to make a straight line, but they go. They look like they go. Do you guys want to go in here and try to add that? Here, I'll, I'll share the Canva with you guys later, and you guys can add something to it if you want. It would be fine. Okay. Um, we can do that. I think what it needs is a good... Yeah, I know what it needs. Okay. What does it need? It needs, it needs, it needs it looking like it's coming out of his head, kind of like he's shooting out from his brain. All right. We but can, his body is his brain. We can do Because he's a dollar bill. It should look oh, like yeah. it's going into his hands. Okay. Yeah, we should make it look like it's coming out of his hands. Like, you got it. What color should we make them all green? Yeah, yeah. Green. Light green. It needs to be bright green or it doesn't look like we should have the same color as the bright part. What if we did it? What if we connected the... all of them to his chest? Mm. Yeah. <gasps> no, I don't like that idea. Doesn't look as cool. Doesn't they look like he's coming out on. of his hands. No, no, they should like look like he's holding one. onto him. Like he's holding on to it. Yeah. Like it doesn't look like he's he needs to look like, like he's the holding pink him. one. Like the oh, pink yeah. one. Like the pink one. Alright, alright, alright. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But that's gonna make it like a star. What about the cheese though? I say the cheese, um, See, that's why I think it should go to the center. But then it covers up his eye, dude. Maybe, maybe, no, I know. The tree should be maybe going. Maybe it can to just go to one of his hands. No, I know. I know. How about the trees? Instead of connecting to him, it goes all the way in a giant circle, connecting to everything else but him. There, he's got it attached to his Because the tree it, it, it just looks like he's trapped in a spider web now. <laughs> yeah, it does, which freaks me out because I hate spiders. I good yeah. enough. If you guys want to go in there and try to change it, then you can, but this is good. This is great. Okay. Okay, I'll go do it. Maybe if I cheese fed chicken price in his hands. He's got the, it's a really catchy song. I just 
He's got the cheese fed chicken in his foot. He got the cheese fed chicken in his butt. He got the cheese fed chicken oh, in his hair. He got the cheese fed chicken in his zoom leg. He got the cheese fed chicken in his hair. He got the cheese fed chicken in his chicken. Oh my! Why did he go for the best thing? He's got a present. He bought it for himself. Then he flew back to his house. Then he almost got arrested. But good thing uh, Dollar Bills cannot get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Dollar Bills can get arrested. He's a super hero called. Cool. No, no. Dollar. What's the, what's the original song called? Oh, I got, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. prices in his hands. Oh, yeah. He got all the prices in his hands. He got all the prices in his hands. He got all the prices in his hands. Didn't it be kind of freaky? But. Song to and I found. Um, would freak me out if someone actually dressed up like this guy for Halloween. That would probably freak uh, me out. Like, ah, why would someone do that? The whole world. And he got the whole world. In his hand. He got the whole world. In his hand. He's got the whole world. You know, you know, song, song titles are. Um, Capitalize like this. Do you guys know that? No, I do not yeah, know that. To. I do not. I do not know that. Hey. Do I know that I did not know that. That is so hard to talk about. I know, but now you know because you learned it at week from school. <laughs> All right. So or only if I learned it at week from school craft. He's oh, that's Minecraft. Oh. Yeah, I get it. Get the joke. You can't learn it from there, so you wish you learn it from there, so you can't learn it from there. Hmm. All right. So, what's the all the prices? In his hands, he got all the prices. In your face, you got all the prices. And then somebody yells out, first good. Okay. You got all the D. 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 We're kind of going on a tangent, but it's totally worth it. All right. So then after that, after that, he's got the cost of cheese fed chickens. Yeah. He's got the cost of cheese fed chicken in his hand he got cheese fed chicken in his hand he got the cheese. whole good you got to say the whole thing he's got the cost of cheese fed chicken in his and hand he got the cost of cheese fed chicken he's got the cost of cheese fed chicken. Oh, okay. he's got the cost of the a cheese fed chicken in his hand he got, got the, the price of chicken. chicken oh how about you say he's got the price he's got the price of chickens Chickens in his hands. Yes. And yeah. some of the other. That's good. That means the price of cheese fed chickens. That means the cheese of the price of the yes. chicken yes. in his hands. Right. This is actually becoming a good song. All right. Are you guys ready to sing with me? This is going to be sweet. Yeah. Here we go. So, and then you go to the next, and then you go first good. Second good. Second good. Right? And the second good, and then you repeat. Hey guys, remember N? Remember N? You do with this. What? Repeat for each good in order. And those goods are, and this is, and let me put this in parentheses. That means don't sing it. Okay? What was the next? Um, oh, what was it? Was it Calvert? He, it was, he got the cat out. out. He got the uh, cat out. He got the cat out. Cows. Cow. Hay. 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 Tractor. 
Tractor. Tractor. Okay, so we need to go to the nose again, guys. Check this out. Got it. Check this out, guys. Check this out. So, and then instead of saying the good, uh, the cheese fed chicken, it's going to be the good. Got it? Got the that? good. No, 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 no. You got to say the good. You got to say the actual good. So you, you don't got to good say the good. Like, in his hand, you actually good. Does that make any sense? He's got the price of Right, he's got the price of, no, no, no. He's got the price of cheese in his hand. He got the price of cheese. Not the cost, the price. Oh, the cost. Yeah, the cost. No, it's the cost, yeah. The cost of cheese. In his hand, in hand, he got that the means the price of cheese. In his hand, she got the gas of peas. In his hand, she had the gas of peas. In his hand, she doesn't have the gas of peas. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to make this in the middle because that's another thing you can do with songs. And now we're totally going to sing the song. Who's yeah. Up? Okay. That would be insane if tomorrow someone was to like, someone was to start singing it and then someone was to like, someone else was to like blur it out. And that's next good yeah, no, first good so somebody's got to yell who's going to yell out the the names of each good i'll do both okay okay so yeah, Cyrus. you gotta you gotta yell out the 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 each one so the now chickens or what is it um first good uh first good second good eight. now chickens now chickens. Now cheese. All right. So somebody's gonna it. keep up with the next good as we go. Okay. I can do that. All right. You're you're gonna do that. Okay. So here we go. So mm -hmm. now we're gonna sing. He's got all the prices. The song. He's got all the prices. Are you ready? I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then we'll start. One, two, three. He's got all the prices. In his hand, he's got all the prices. In his hands, he's got all the prices. In his hands, he's got all the prices. Now chickens. Now chickens. He's got the cost of cheese for chicken. In his hands, he's got the cost of cheese for chicken. In his hands, that means the price of cheese for chicken. In his hands, he's got the price. Now cheese. In his hands, and now cheese. He's got, oh, uh, whoops. He's got the price, he's got the cost of cheese. In his hands, he's got the price of cheese. In his hands, he's got the price of cheese. In his hands, he's got the price of cheese. In his hands. Now cows. He's got the cost of cows. And I feel like we need to go up. Uh, we have to go up a uh, modulate up a, a one note. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. He's got the cost of cows in his hands. He's got the cost of cows in his hands. That means the price of cows in his hands. He's got the cost of cows in his hands. Now, hey, he's got the cost of hay in his hands. He's got the cost of hay in his hands. He's got the cost of hay in his hands. He's got the cost of now tractors in his hand. Oh, he's got the price cost of tractors in his hands. He's got the cost of tractors in his hands. That means the price of tractors, kids. In his hands, he's got the price of tractors in his hands. Amen. All right. So that is the song that we sing when we celebrate <laughs> the superhero known as money that helped us to avoid needing to track all these prices. And it, I, think, I think it's been a beautiful journey today. Learning all about money. Almost over an hour. Oh, it was, this is like two hour marathon about money. Yeah, it was almost a two hour marathon. Who yeah. wants to summarize yeah. a little bit about what we learned? And then also, um, uh, you guys, I, I, want, I want you guys, I'll share this link. You guys can share this with your parents. They can review it. And then we'll put it up on the app. You guys can share this with your classmates tomorrow. But before we do that, I want you guys to um, 
each go around and share something that you understood from the lesson today. Uh, go first. It's still open. Uh, How about you, Albanov? Um, I don't know if he was listening. All right. I think you like just join like a few seconds ago. Who wants to go first? Isla, you raise your hand. Go for it. Um, I think one thing I learned is that sometimes, like, mm -hmm. if you don't know how, like, there are, like, if you, uh, like, really, like, equations can really simplify if you're doing something. Oh, you cut that out for a second. A Say that again. Data. That was really good. Say that again about the equations. You cut out for a second, but that's important. If you have an equation, then it can really simplify and make things a lot easier um, when, you ha when you're doing something with that requires a lot of data. Yeah. That's wow. right. And you can see it everywhere. Yes. Yes. I love that. This is applied mathematics. So when you guys, you know, when you guys do math, Oh, go ahead. Share share your takeaway, Cyrus, and then I'll. I'll My takeaway is that is that the same thing as Isla, and that there's a new superhero in town named Super Dower or something. I don't know what it's called. Super money. Super Actually, money. The superhero is pretty old. Yeah, well, I guess it just depends on what you call old, because like money, money's only really existed in its present day form, be it monies without bad. Yeah. Like the first ones were in um, China, like a thousand years ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah. How about you, Vaughn? What is your takeaway? What's something you learned today? Um. What did you learn about? What is your takeaway, Vaughn? What is your take? I was, I was actually starting to do like the impression of that guy um, uh, in the Monty Python. What is your name? What, what? is your favorite, favorite color? color? I know one of my favorite colors. Okay, we'll start with that and then share something that you. Favorite color. Learned. I can do it. What did you learn today, Vaughn? What did you learn about how many how many prices were there when there was only one good? Yeah, how many prices were there? Zero. And then when you had two, two? Prices, two prices. Two prices? There's one price with two goods, right? Um and oh, order of operations was a 909 by two. That's a lot. A note is order of operations. When you're doing math and a formula like that, you want to know order of operations. That's something we should probably talk about. Um, but the parentheses comes first. Um, what's something that you learned today? Get the whole world. Oh, well, here, so because super money has all the prices, then the number of prices is equal to what? What's the formula for number of prices when you have money? What's the formula? Number, number of prices equal to super money. <laughs> Go ahead, Isla. What is it? Um, I think it's like the number of goods. Yep, that's it. Yeah. The formula goes from n parenthesis n minus one n parenthesis divided by two to just n. Right? Yeah. That's cool. Yes. That's really cool. Have you have a hundred prices. Yep. If you have a billion okay. goods, how many prices are there? Billion. A billion. It's really easy. All right. I think we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, because we're almost an hour over. Well, I mean, <laughs> learning never stops. If you stop learning, life gets really boring. Um, 
go faster with this. Yeah, we can wrap it up. Um, I really enjoyed hanging out and doing this. Um, let's, can you share that, li share that link with your parents uh, and um, just ask them for input, you know, um, and then we'll, um, then we'll share it tomorrow. Eat up. Bye. 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 Bye.